It is Manchester United 1, Burnley 1. Manchester United dropping points after being a goal up. My, 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 my. What is it with Manchester United? Nothing ever changes. You just can't. Manchester United go early goal. You just see it coming. Are we going to concede? Are Burnley going to burn us to death? Yes, they did. They did. And they burnt our heart. They burnt our hopes. And guess who had to be the one to ensure that we drop points? You know our keeper that does madness once in a while. Guess what, guys? Andre Nana again, once again, messes up. He cocks up. Sorry, I had to burp when I said that because it, it, it made me react, bruv. Because let's be honest, how many times are we going to see Manchester United keep messing games up after game after game, especially when being in the lead? We've seen it so many times. And the manager as well must be thinking, what can he do? But I look at the manager and I'm thinking, what can you do to make the difference and make the changes? You can do so much by making proper effective changes. But the manager today... In terms of his changes and etc it didn't work out for manchester united we were badly set up badly run today burnley the team that looked at more like the team that could have won today's game especially in the start of the first 45 minutes it must be embarrassing to be a manchester united fan and watch a relegated team like burnley possess us at times show that they're better at playing possession based football and the manager's been told you better play possession football or you're out and the manager is just showing us the demonstration on the pitch of how he can show these players. They just cannot do it. Whether it's the manager or the personnel, they just, they just cannot do it. It doesn't work. And I'm so tired of this. What a way to start our weekend, in it? In a horrible way. Dropping points. Manchester United in the first 45 minutes. What a poor first half in general indeed, guys. The fact that Burnley was a better team, Manchester United going into that first half, half-time, nil-nil, not creating much, not creating anything at all with Burnley causing problems on Onano in the first 45 minutes, making saves, good saves as well. But again, you had a good game, Andre Onano, but I will get on to him later on. Manchester United going to the second half. All right, guys. It's nil-nil. You need to turn it up. Ten home. Can you make some changes? Can you make some changes that's effective? Can you not read your opponent in the first 45 minutes and say, okay, you know what? Huh? I just have to make this game. I'll put Ganacho here and yeah, Bruno here. You get what I mean? Clear? Huh? Huh? Can you not do that for once? I thought you was a master tactician. From what I heard of last season, you were so good at reading your opponent and making changes and executing. What happened to you, Ten Hog? In high school, you was the man, homie. What the fuck happened to you? Seriously. You know, man, tonight, we get that goal. Anthony Shantos, can you believe it? Screwing his first goal in first Premier League goal this season after 27 games. And he was in tears. He cried a bit. He took the Sonic the Hedgehog off the fan and showed it to them and said, you know, and the ball in the in his stomach saying, I think you got someone pregnant out here, you know. Oh, he's expecting a child. Oh, Anthony, the first time he's been able to beat a man and not a woman, allegedly, you know. And get that goal in, you know, after the mistake from the goalkeeper, to, from the defence of the Burnley. Uh, uh, Anthony picking up the ball and beating a man instead of being, a, you know, the opposite sex, as they say, allegedly. And slotting it in. Uh, he was stumbling a bit, but he managed to stump, to slot it in. And it was one new Manchester United. And what they're thinking, please don't mess this up. Please don't fumble this match, United. It was going so well until the 80th minute. 85 minutes of set piece. Some idiot goalkeeper called Andre Onana. Oh, na, 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 na. You just have to ruin it for us. He said, to, Andre Onana said, no, it's one new. Everything's going good. You know, I've been watching, I've been listening to Drake. I'm going to be like, you know what? Fist punch in the player's face. Oh, na, 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 Manchester United. You ain't going to get the three points. I'm going to make sure it becomes sour. Andre Onana causing a penalty, causing that foul. And then for, of course, I'm doing it to get that equaliser for Manchester United to drop points and draw. Unacceptable today. We are so inconsistent. We are so inconsistent. And, and guys, let me tell you something. Why do you put on Mason Mount in the last six minutes? It's insulting. It's insulting, Eric Ten Hag. 
play him when you can make, make enough give to give him enough time to make effect in a team. Like I don't rate Mount, but you don't give him six minutes. Or just don't do that. That's disrespect. And why take off Manu and bring on a player that can't keep the ball like Scott McTominay to then get injured? How embarrassing is that today? Manchester United they just disappointed us today in general, guys. It ended up 1-1. I'm pissed off. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this result. We take one step forward, two step back all the time. We're like the snail that accomplished at least about 10 centimeters in a day of his distance throughout the whole day. And then someone comes at the end of the night. You know what? Let me make you put, let me put you back where you started from. You know? Because it took us a whole day to get there from the start to the end. But no, you just set us back again. We know we was this couple. Oh. Don't understand, guys. But guys, I'm so annoyed. I'm so frustrated. You know, players today, Rasmus Hoyland. I'm not sold, guys. I'll be very honest with you. Rasmus, another poor game from him. I believe this guy. I think we need to get a better strike and put him on the bench because Rasmus is ineffective in the game. He doesn't offer anything, and I'm just not convinced and sold by this young boy. You know, I complain, I complain, but I'm right. Bruno Fernandes today, another poor game from him. An opportunity to slip players in, f give the free ball. Be your actual midfielder. Be that playmaker that you're supposed to be where you can pass, retain possession, spray balls, and give free balls at the right moment, especially under pressure. Bruno was unable to do that today. He let us down, especially when there was chances to give a ball to um, to go straight on to go and score. Gonacho had a didn't have his best game and took on players but still was ineffective Maguire, i can say had a good game he did his job today Maguire. although i diss you all the time my brother i'm so sorry he did his job slap it did his job oh no no you stupid fool you cost us the game and that's why i have to say donkey of the match today has to go to oh no no man of the match i'm going to give it to Maguire. Oh, guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy Ivor Inspire. So f frustrated. We're back live Monday, 8 p.m. UK with the man and to discuss this game, guys. As always, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and also who your man of the match is and your donkey of the match. Till next time, guys, as always, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep Red United. Smash that like button and share across all social media platforms and subscribe to Red United TV and become a member. I'm out. Peace out. Take care. Sayonara. Hope you have a good day, though.